took a trip over to the grocery store the other day and found some rutabagas, which were kind of totally gnarly looking veggies. Thought I'd pick some up to explore on today's What's This Food? Today's sponsor is the Brooklyn Creative League, and you can check them out online at brooklyncreativeleague.com. The Brooklyn Creative League is a collaborative working space in Park Slope, Brooklyn, perfect for independent professionals, people like freelancers and journalists or small business owners that want to get out of their house and into a better, more professional working environment to work on a day-to-day -day basis. Check them out online at brooklyncreativeleague.com. Today we are talking about the rutabaga. Rutabaga is a root vegetable that is commonly found throughout Sweden. In fact, it's from Sweden. It was first discovered by a Swiss botanist who's out kind of wandering around through Sweden, kind of foraging and stuff like that, and stumbled upon this interesting species. Why is it interesting? Well, it is botanically a crossbreed between a turnip and a cabbage. In fact, a lot of people call it the Swedish turnip. The name rutabaga comes from the Swedish word meaning root bag, because that's what it kind of looks like. The rutabaga sometimes has a light purple top and it can often produce these gnarly roots that extend. Generally, it's like some beefed up fat carrot. Uh, it has a pretty hard exterior. The larger they get, the less sweet they are. So you want to look for ones that are not super large. They can be a little woody to cut through, so I'll show you how to cut through them properly. Taste-wise, they're pretty mild, a little peppery, um, and they're a great substitute for something like a potato. Now you can also eat the leaves and the stems of the rutabaga plant, but they're harder to find and they're not frequently consumed. Most folks take the rutabaga and they'll stew it, they'll put it in a soup, they'll braise it, or maybe make some sort of potato kind of salad with it, something like that. Fun fact, the first jack-o'-lanterns in Ireland and Scotland were carved out of rutabaga. Basically, they didn't have pumpkins over there, and when they came over to the United States and brought a lot of their traditions with them, they found this massive gourd, the pumpkin, and used that instead of the rutabaga as their jack-o'-lanterns. Fun fact number two, rutabagas are used in sports. What sport, you might ask? Curling. That's right. In Ithaca, New York, at the end of their farmer's market season, they have the International Rutabaga Curling Championships to see who is the rutabaga king. Today I'm gonna to take a spin on a German potato salad and use rutabaga instead of the potato because it's way more nutritious than a potato ever will be. To peel your rutabaga, first cut off the top and the bottom, then cut it in half. Use your knife to slice away at the skin. Then cube your rutabaga and add it to a pot of water, bring the water to a boil, and continue to boil on medium-high heat for about 15 minutes or until fork tender. Drain the rutabagas and set aside. Meanwhile, take three strips of bacon and slice them up into teeny little bits. In a large skillet over medium-low heat, I want you to put the bacon in and let it render out. The low heat is going to allow the fat to all render out, and it'll take a while to do this. You're looking at about 15 minutes. Once the bacon is crisp and the fat has been rendered out, you're going to add one sliced up onion and cook that in the rendered out fat. Turn the heat up to medium and let the onion cook until it's translucent and just beginning to brown, about four to five minutes. Now add your rutabaga and stir that all together. Then add two tablespoons of mustard, two tablespoons of vinegar, two tablespoons of sugar, some salt and pepper to taste, and stir it all together. Then add some herbs. I'm using some thyme and some sage because that's what I had and it goes together really nicely, but you can use whatever herbs you like. Toss and enjoy. So that's how you make a German rutabaga salad. It's kind of a homage to Sweden with a German flair, if you will. Tune in tomorrow for another What's This Food. Be sure to check out our sponsor, brokencreativeleague.com, and I will see you tomorrow.